वेलकम टू इकोलिक्स सो दिस इज अ सेकेंड वीडियो इन द लाइन ऑफ फाइव डिफिकल्टीज दैट आर स्टूडेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक फेस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द डिफिकल्टी नंबर टू इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच द फर्स्ट वन आफ्टर दिस वीडियो यू कैन गो एंड वॉच दैट नाउ द सेकेंड मोस्ट डिफिकल्टी दैट आर स्टूडेंट फेस इन इकोनॉमिक्स इज रिगार्डिंग मैथमेटिक्स नाउ पीपल हैव द प्रॉब्लम विथ मैथ्स those who are not comfortable or those who find intimidating because they are not comfortable with economics related to mathematics because some of our some of you are having social science background now understanding maths is very important in economics i'm not saying it's mandatory but it is important because if you understand from that perspective you will understand the subject in a whole different manner so that is why the second difficulty that a student faces is maths application now applying maths in economics doesn't require full knowledge of mathematics first of all this should be very clear you should understand the economic theory first and then you go to the mathematical concept now economics understand into three particular dimensions number one is theoretical so you should know what happened exactly in the theory second thing is related to graph so when you represent theory in terms of graph you have a limitation what is the limitation that graph is two dimensional x axis y axis but what about the third variable so that is why we need to take all other variable constant and we can vary only one the reason is very simple that the limitation of graph so theory done graph done and that is the entry of mathematics that is where you can take multiple variables at the same time and you can get more realistic analysis people are scared with maths the reason is very simple because they don't understand the utilization and the use of that particular subject so application of mathematics is generally people is scared i have a three point solution for this number one is when you are studying mathematics with economics you have to focus on underlying logic the logic is very simple if you see mathematics all the variables represent represent something So if you understand why they are representing this particular thing you will understand the mathematics more you just have don't have to do a rote learning or just a repetition or mugging up the facts if i ask basic mathematics what is 2 plus 3 or 2 plus 2 or 2 plus 5 will you remember those answer no you apply your logic you multiply that if i say that i have to or you have to recite the table of 9 what you will do is 9 in 9 1 9 9 2 18 27 do you rote learn this do you mug up all those things no by logic you are multiplying it so the reason is very simple you need to understand the underlying logic of this subject without understanding underlying logic you wouldn't be able to successfully implemented mathematics with economics second thing is start with basics don't go directly jump on to differentiation calculus or matrices any any mathematics that you are be using in economics the reason is very simple here everything starts with basics even if you go to gym even if you play any sport you have to start everything from basics suppose you play cricket okay in this example we take cricket cricket is we can say a religion of our country people watch cricket if i give you bat will you directly face international level bowlers the answer is no will you play directly in the international match the answer is no then in mathematics or in studies why are you just jumping onto the highest possible level start with basics try to understand go to the school textbooks there's no harm in going back to a school textbook it doesn't mean that you don't know anything you may forget everyone forgets i also forget you also forget we all are human being that's the beauty of our human mind so familiarization is very important you start with basics try to understand the concept try to brush up all those terms and then you jump on to the concepts and the last is seek help seeking help is never be a situation of embarrassment i'll tell you a very simple example in indian cricket team there are 11 players and in your gully cricket team there are 5 6 11 whatever it is who exactly need a coach 
you don't know to how to play you need a coach but who is currently having a coach those who are playing at the international level so it means if the level is high you need to raise your bar as well so you need to take help guidance of some other person's experience so never feel embarrassed so if you are playing for india do you think that virat kohli needs a coach rohit sharma needs a coach rohit sharma needs rahul dravid to teach them how to bat the answer is no and you are playing in gully cricket you are expert of everything and you are saying i don't need a coach the reason is the level the level that you are operating in so here your level is competitive exam maybe your semester exam your career exam the job interview whatever it is open to seeking help that will save your time i hope you like this video i hope you understand the logic behind understanding the concepts before directly jump onto it don't forget to subscribe ecoholics and if you need to one to one guidance with me my whatsapp number is given in the description thank you so much have a nice day